Hello, Professor Spada. Thank you very much for joining me and for your time. Um, just to give our viewers a little bit of a understanding about you and your research, could you tell us uh, a bit about yourself and the work that you've done on COVID anxiety syndrome? Hi, Prisha. Um, yes, thanks for inviting me to this talk. Um, so I'm Professor of Addictive Behaviors and Mental Health, and over the last 15 to 16 months, really, um, I've started, so it's around about March, April 2020, I started researching what Professor Anna Nikšević at Kingston University and I describe as this COVID anxiety syndrome. Um, so last year, when the pandemic hit Western Europe, we uh, became interested in understanding if any behaviors could emerge during the pandemic that might become entrenched and unhelpful to us. We were asked to um, you know, stay home. Uh, we were at the receiving end of many terrifying messages. So although at the time, anxiety and fear of COVID were normal, we thought, what could happen if we take on uh, behaviors such as avoidance or the tendency to worry too much or monitor whether other individuals are uh, ill or repeatedly checking the health of our loved ones or our own health? What could happen if this goes on for a protracted period of time? Maybe the pandemic ceases, but we can't get out of these behaviors. We've been conditioned. And so we call that the COVID anxiety syndrome, and we developed uh, a measure um, in May 2020 um, and uh, developed uh, this measure, nine item psychometric measure that looks at attention to threat, avoidance, worry, and checking related to our fear of the virus. So how we respond to the fear or the anxiety linked to the virus. So from our perspective, the fear of the virus is normal. Anxieties surrounding the virus are normal. However, the way we respond, which we call the syndrome, may lock us into a perpetual state of fear and anxiety, maybe even after the threat is gone. 